Hi Stampin' Friends, it's Tina Shaw from TinaLovesToStamp.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Fairborn, Ohio. Before we get started on my card today, I want to remind you that today only, May 21st, 2024, is free shipping for orders $75 or more before tax. You can order from my website, and that is Tina Shaw. Dot stampin up dot net. Now, <laughs> let's get started with the card. I think this is so pretty. And I love, love, love the glitter. The glimmer paper. And then I even used um, Winkastella. Can you see that sparkle on the little flowers? Um, I had my class make this yesterday. And... I think this was the favorite card. We always do three cards. I have classes on Mondays here in Fairborn. If you're local or anywhere near, um, you can come and join us. Uh, I have two classes, one's at noon and one's at 2.30. If you're uh, farther away, I also do kits and can send them to you. I use Pirate Ship, which saves on the shipping. So it is $12 for three cards and envelopes, and um, this was one of the ones from yesterday. So let's get started. Here's my envelope. I used painted lavender bundle, and I, oh, these are the other dies in here too. Um, I did use these two dies out of the die set that cuts these little flowers. And this little, um, I, I cut out the leaf or whatever that is in um, Lost Lagoon. So, this one is called the Backfold Funfold. And the reason it's called Backfold is because you have to fold this piece to the back to open it. Very cute. Just something a little different. I've seen several different uh, demonstrators do this card and I really loved it and so I just came up with my own purple ideas here because purple is one of my favorite colors. <laughs> so let me go over my uh, dimensions with you. This is Highland Heather cardstock and this is cut at five and a half by seven and a half. And then I've scored it at three and a fourth and six and a half. So then you just fold this in like that. Use your bone folder to make a nice flat crease. And then on this fold, I'm going to turn it back and, and burnish that one that way. And then actually I do it this way too. But that way it makes it easier to uh, flip it. So this would be five and a half, five and a half by four and a quarter, which is our uh, A2 size. Because when you look at it like that, it's smaller. But when you open it up, that's the way your card looks. So um, then I have a piece of Perennial Lavender Designer Series Paper. This is just one of the prints that's beautiful. And this is cut at three inches by five and a fourth. And this piece just goes right on the front. So you're just gonna have a little layer around there. So we can go ahead and adhere this down to the front of my card. I like the purple border on it, so I didn't think it needed another layer behind it. There we go. So as you can see, I have this border here. It goes all the way around. Then I took a piece of this beautiful glimmer paper. And this is from the Three Color Glimmer Specialty Paper. And there's Highland Heather, Petal Pink, and Pretty Peacock in this package. And you get sh two sheets of each color. It's absolutely stunning. You'll definitely want that. 
So this piece is 7 eighths by 5 and a fourth. So I'm going to go ahead and I think on this one I'm going to use some glue. Just because it's the glimmer paper, it's a little bit heavier. And the glue works really well when you want something to really stick. Now what I am doing is I am putting this piece directly up against the fold line. I'm not doing it like so it'll have a, a um, border all the way around it because we have this border here. So now this just looks like the front of a regular card. Isn't that pretty? Okay, inside piece is also three by five and a quarter. And then I have somewhere, where'd it go? Uh, <laughs> here it is, <laughs> a little half inch or, yeah, I think it's a half inch by three inch little piece that I'm gonna put on there for the inside. So to make this a, um, the fun fold, I used, here it is. I used the Everyday Details die and I used the second uh, circle. Well, I guess it's the yeah second circle die and cut that out. I love this set. It's so cute because it has like all these little round circle holes in it. And I do need to punch out just a few here. I do cut two at a time on my emboss and cut machine because that way it goes quicker, especially when you're making cards for a class where you have to have so many multiples. So just poke these out. Most of them came out, but there's a few stubborn ones that stayed in there. Okay, this one's being stubborn. <laughs> There we go. Just little dots. There. Okay, so what I did was I used Gorgeous Grape. I know I used Highland Heather as the color of my uh, cardstock, but I wanted something just a little bit darker. And I used the So Sincere stamp set. And I just love this. Just love spending time with you. I think this would be so cute to put or to send to somebody that you love to spend time with. Like for me, my grandkids, um, my family, my friends. Just a cute, makes a cute, cute card. So I'm going to stamp this in. Gorgeous grape. And I'm going to stamp it towards the right side of my circle. Like that stamp so pretty and now um, on the inside piece if you want to um, you can do this I stamped a couple little flowers and remember I'm gonna have this at the bottom here so just depends on how many you want to have or let me find a scrap piece of paper here because I don't want to get it on my glass mat. Okay, and then what I did too, I kind of went back and forth between my two colors. So I'm going to clean this off and use the lighter. And I think I'm going to make this one go up a little bit like that. Just to have a couple little pieces there. And maybe another dark one. And then I want, I have to be difficult, <laughs> another little light one there. Very cute. So let me clean that. I don't get it all over the place with my chamois, which I love. Okay, 
So now I can go ahead and put this piece down. So let's close these up for now. Oh, I know one more thing I do want to stamp while I've got that out. These are the little butterflies. I think I'm going to do them in the lighter color today. Cute. I love it. <laughs> and then if you're doing an envelope, you can do the butterflies. You could also do like I did on my envelopes. I just stamped a few of these. Get my scratch paper back out here. I'm just going to leave a little space. And I made a mark with my fingernail. Lovely. Of course I did. <laughs> now, the lighter. In between. I'm going to get over here and get that piece. There we go. And then I can add my butterfly. Like right here. There. Adorable. Or I think it is. <laughs> okay, so now what I want to do <clears throat> is go ahead, I can go ahead and put this piece down here. And be done with my inside. Let me get up here so you can see what I'm doing. Just put that right there. Now I'm going to put this piece on the inside. And look what I did. I got a little piece there. I'm just going to lay this right in here. So it is layered okay so there's that and now i'm going to take my let's see what do i want to do first this is going to go this time i think instead of having it down low i'm going to have it up top because on all of these i put it put it down low so I think this time I'm going to have it up higher. And to put this onto this paper, you need something that's pretty strong. So I'm going to use my tear and tape. And I'm just going to put it behind the right side. I'll just put a couple little pieces on there. And then I just lost where I was at. There it is. Right there. <laughs> and I lost my scissors. Of course I did. I'm going to trim this little piece off. I don't want the white showing through the polka dot there. Or the dot. Okay, so I rubbed that down. And then use my take a pick tool and just lift. Nope, I just want to lift up the paper, not the glue. And it's wanting to lift the whole glue. Of course it is. There we go. Maybe. It's not letting me grab. There. This one still isn't. Doggone it. Here we go. He's just being stubborn. Okay, so now I just want to make sure that I get this back here. Because you don't want it to stick on the front. So it'll be right there. Now, I've already gone ahead and cut out the dies. That we're going to be using. I did um, the little flowers. This cuts out two at a time, which is really, really nice. And then um, the other one, the leaf, cuts out the whole thing at once. So what I did was 
I think I'll have that going this way this time. Because here, well, I still could do it that way too. But I think I want it this way. So all I did <clears throat> was... here and there like that doesn't have to be totally saturated and then I'm gonna have this so it goes down like that it just adds a little something to it and then I'm going to take my little flowers and again I'm going to use my paper, scratch paper, and I'm going to color these. And I'm using the blends. And so I'm just going to color the flowers with light Highland Heather all over the flower first. like that. Then I took the dark Highland Heather and just kind of made some like half, I went over half of the flower to make it dark and light. I saw somebody did this, and I cannot remember who in the world it was, but I loved the two-tone of the flowers. And then the really fun part is once you get this done, first I gotta do my green. I'll do that real quick. This is the light, and I just did some of the stem. I just thought it was adorable. So let's go to the green. Okay. So. Okay. So I wanted to go back in there. So let me do. I missed one little piece here. And of course, it's the dark marker I picked up. Okay. Now, my secret. Stella. It just adds so much shimmer. It's absolutely gorgeous. I just put the Winkastella all over it. Winkastella is back in stock. Hooray, hooray. You can order that too. So I just did that. It just makes it so pretty. Look at the little sparklies. Okay, so now I just took these two and see where I want them to be. Isn't that just so sweet? So what I wanna do first before I even put these on is trim off the extra stem. I can pick it up. <laughs> okay, so I want the longer piece on the inside. And again, I'm just touching a little bit of glue on the back side. And just put that right there. Kind of curve it to a bit. Hold it down for just a second. You don't want glue back on that piece to touch your card or you won't be able to open. <laughs> okay, so then I'm going to put this piece here like so. Isn't that just darling? I love the 
this shimmer. Can you see the shimmer? It's such a cute, cute card. And then, of course, I'm not done until I put on my bling. I always have to have bling. So I'm going to add one like down here. And then a couple little ones. Um, I think I'll put one which way? There. And then I want another little one. Oops. On my table. Right there. And if you wanted to, you could also put them in the little flowers. Um, I think I forget which one I did that had that. Yeah, this one here. I put them in the flower. The little bling. So you could do it either way you want. And then, of course, we already did our envelope. And so here's our card. What do you think? I think it's adorable. It's pretty easy. And um, so if you like this, give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Make sure you join my YouTube. Uh, subscribe to it. And um, also subscribe to my email alerts on my blog. And that's at tinalovestostamp.com. Thanks for joining me. I hope to see you again real soon. Bye.